What's going on guys? This is Red Bull Tanker and Emperor's Hand and welcome to Axis and Allies D-Day. This is an overview of turn one. So we'll get so we'll get into it. Alright, so starting off we had the airborne attacks. Um decently successful. Um unfortunately here they didn't go too well. There is one surviving airborne unit, but other than that, the rest got destroyed out of here. The 82nd had a lot of luck here and were able to defeat their enemies here and move on and push on out, but they also got um, they got hit pretty hard on the German turn. The 6th Airborne did amazingly well, and um, we did use the special card to bring in paratrooper reinforcements, and the Brits were able to bring in three extra reinforcements, and they moved off into Khan. And then, let's see here. What else? Naval bombardments. We did okay getting some of the blockhouses. Some of the blockhouses did die during combat. Um, then, let's see here. What came next? Um, oh, then I sent my fighters out. I didn't get... I Unfortunately, on the um, fortune card, I rolled a six. So I had to roll for every aircraft to get out. Um... I managed three fighters for both the British and the Americans. And then I put them here in each of the German reinforcement points. Because that comes in handy later. Yeah. Um, and see what else. So then um, on their turn, well, during part of their during part of the turn, um, Emperor's Hand decided to flood the lowlands here at Montebourg for one turn. So I couldn't move any allied troops into there. Um, so getting in, so getting into the battle. So obviously we cleared Utah Beach. We didn't fare too well. Oh, well, I rolled a six again on the landing. So I could only attack in one American zone and one British zone. So I ended up attacking here at Utah Beach. And we broke through here. Couldn't attack at North. We couldn't attack at Omaha. We, which one did we attack at? Um, I can't remember what beach I. Oh no, I attacked here at Sword Beach, and that attack didn't go that well. No, I didn't attack on any of the British beaches. I tried to attack here at Con, and he had and Emperor's Hand had two artillery and a tank, and I managed to kill. The art one of the artillery and uh, Emperor's hand rolled one hit and they killed one of one of the other paratroopers there yeah. over there at Khan. So then on the Emperor's hand's turn, um, she moved forces in to engage the 101st here. She killed one paratrooper. She killed the remaining American paratrooper here. Um, she killed two paratroop no one paratrooper here because there were two here. Um, she killed, um, here at Omaha, she killed three of the infantry coming ashore, and I only killed a pillbox. I had really terrible rolls. We managed to get in onto gold and clear that. And then, um, I believe she did counterattack here, and that's what cost her the landing zones here. She tried to attack here. Um, I mean... She, still got a tank there so she's holding up the units here um to try and attack at con that didn't go well N neither of us hit and then same up here well up here she did attack and i believe she lost an infantry in the counter attack so that was pretty much it and then um what else so then for reinforcement wise as the brits i was able to bring in five reinforcements uh, four for the U.S. So a reinforcement for the 101st Airborne Division. And then the infantry element of the 90th Infantry Division are about are going to go to shore next turn. Um, nothing will be going to shore on Omaha. And then for Emperor's Hand, she's you know, basically reinforced all along the line. And with my fighters in here, I was able to attack her reinforcements as she came in and i actually did pretty well i think um i ended up taking out 
two of her infantry, one of her artillery, and three of her tanks coming into the into the battle into the battle space. So, I mean, that was that was kind of nice. And even during um, during even the turns, like she moved an infantry out of here that got killed uh, a couple times when she was reinforcing out of some of the territories here that actually have starting well here and here i was able to actually kill units as they came out but so that is it for that's pretty much it for the first turn although um during my strategic bombing part um uh, my uh british bomber got shot down so my british bomber got shot down and my uh and a british fighter got shot down so if i remember correctly i believe they are now out of the game for the rest of it i'll have to double check the rules on that but so emperor's hand definitely dealt a blow to the raf in the game so good for her all right so that is going to be it for turn one and we will see you guys next time for turn two so until then guys as always take care yeah